Dikeman method of preparing cycloalkane. Diethyl heptane dioane when treated with sodium ethoxide. followed by hydrolysis gives a intermediate compound cyclohexanone carboxylic acid which on heating decarboxylation takes place to give cyclohexanone. This followed by reduction and dehydration give cycloalkane. Let us see the mechanism now. This is diethyl hexane dioate. This is treated with sodium ethoxide O minus ET. In the first step, this, it removes this proton forming a carbanion. See, carbon is gaining an electron pair, therefore it carries a negative charge. The next step, the carbanion attacks this electrophilic carbon, shifting this electron pair on the oxygen. So, five membered ring is generated. In the next step, this O minus ET. Sorry, this the negative charge shifts here and this OET leaves. Next step the the liberated OET. I will write the reaction in the next page.
see this is what we have obtained in the previous step which I have written here the liberated O minus ET now takes a proton from this carbon shifting this electron on on that carbon this is now treated treated with hydronium ion takes up this proton shifting this bond pair of electron on the oxygen now the next step hydrolysis takes place you see OH is added here hydrogen is added it's converted into a carboxylic acid derivative heating decarboxylation takes place forms a cyclohexanone this on reduction with sodium and ether becomes an alcohol this on dehydration in the presence of H plus see what happens becomes a cycloalkene this followed by reduction becomes a cycloalkene I'll repeat once again. Dithyl hexane dioate is treated with a base. The base is abstracting this proton, shifting this bond pair on the carbon. This carbon, therefore, a carbanion is generated. This attacks this carbon, which is electrophilic, and now a ring is generated. Now this OED is liberated, shifting this electron pair. This electron pair becomes a bond, double bond here, and this OET leaves. Now, in this stage, the liberated O minus ET removes this proton, shifting this bond pair on this carbon. Now, this carbon carrying the negative charge, carbanion, is treated with hydronium ion, and it is takes up the proton from this and shifting this bond on the oxygen. Now, we get a carboxylic acid derivative this followed by hydrolysis gets, gives this carboxylic acid derivative on heating carbon dioxide is eliminated gives a cyclohexanone followed by reduction it converts the cyclohexanone to an alcohol and this is de dehydration takes place therefore water is eliminated and you get an alkene which is which on further reduction gives cycloalkene thank you very much